Hey guys, 1923 here, back with another review. I hope you enjoyed the last couple of videos I've been doing, and here I am with another video. Here is a 2015 uh, Thomas from Now review. It's a kind of new thing, so it's kind of new for me doing new items, so here we are. 2015. So does Legend of Lost Treasure. Du double pack. Oliver and Oliver. So, first impressions of it. I think this is a good two pack. Not excellent, not bad, but a good one. It's on the boundary between good and bad. It's got a good character coming back into the mix that I really think is a really good um, um, introduction to the Thomas Railway line. And then we've got another character which people have been crying out for for a while to add to their pack collection, which is uh, the Oliver the Excavator. So, um, first impressions are good. Um, from looking at the two models in the shop and looking at them now, they look absolutely really beautiful. So, um, we'll focus on um, Oliver for this most part. Let's move this Oliver out of the way and look at this Oliver. So, as we can see, it's got obviously a lot more detail than the original one. We just bring the original one in here. You can see the detail is much um, more. Um, detailed, it's, it's a lot more better finish to it. It's got um, all the lining on the boiler, it's got all three domes, it's got the chimney, it's got um, this, I think this is a safety valve, so I'm not quite sure. I might this just be, might be part of the boiler. That's definitely the dome, and that's either the whistle or the safety valve, I'm pretty sure that's the safety valve on a 14XX locomotive, which Oliver is based off. It's got all the uh, silver paint handrails, and what I really, really do like about this model is most of it is wood. The bottom's wood, this is wood. These two bits are plastic, but we can understand that from the new um, quota that Mattel have introduced. So, um, overall, very good model. We'll just have a little comparison here with the older one. The older one is a really nice model, but I prefer this one. So, in my series, this will replace it. But not in my Before Real Famous series. This will, Actually, no, yeah, it will. This one will replace um, We'll replace this one in both my series. I'll probably have this as um, Oliver's brother, or I'll have it just another 14XX. So now we um, move on to the other part of this two pack, which is Oliver the Excavator. So we'll move Oliver out of the way, so we've got a bit more space. So this is a different model that hasn't been introduced into the wooden arrow range until now. Um, most of it is plastic, the base is plastic. That it is plastic. The body's wood, which I like. It can do 360 degree turn. The arm is pretty much useless. You can't really do anything with it because nothing in the model in the top really actually you can pick up. It's got no magnet in it, um, so you can't pick up any magnetic things. But overall, it's a nice representation representation of the a prototype. The face, I think, is a very good representation for what I can remember of the series. Detail is very well done on uh, 360 degrees of this model but plastic base still it's uh, wrong in my book I really hate plastic bases it, it just well they've done, they've done done a wooden base on this why couldn't they do a uh, wooden base on that it wouldn't be that hard it just confuses me completely but um, we, life goes on and this is Mattel of 2015 doing the Tom from Aero range so we have to put up with it but overall this two pack has been um, really it's been good not bad, but not um, brilliant as well. So thanks for watching this review by Thomas from uh, Wooden Rail 123, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.